Hey guys, oh, she's a scorcher out today, I tell ya. It is plus 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, that was the last time I checked, I don't know what it is now, but she's getting warmer out. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's pretty brutal. Uh, I figured I'd show you guys our boat here. This is uh, this is the office, if you want to call it that. This is a 22 foot uh, yawl, I believe. You see, this used to be a RCMP boat. Uh, the Métis, Haver Métis, government council they bought it last year this is our fishing boat they had the the uh cab built on it and uh yeah so it was just an open deck boat old rcmp boat so it's pretty nice with that cab on it as well and you see here this boat it's got uh two twin 90 mercs you know this boat will haul ass man and you know two kickers is always better than one of course you know one breaks down or you have trouble you could always limp home with one you know, you see, the last year we had, uh, we were fishing with a uh, Kingfisher. I think it was a 18 foot Kingfisher. It was kind of like a, a pleasure craft boat. It wasn't, uh, it definitely wasn't made for fishing. Uh, but this, this boat here, it's all rigged up for net fishing, gill nets. And uh, yeah, she's got a nice deep haul on it. She cuts through the waves and she rides smooth. Now you see, the thing about, about this, uh, this boat, we got a uh, we got a net puller on it. This is a uh, hydraulic net puller. Uh, it's pretty freaking simple, actually. In the back here, we got uh, here, okay, here. here's our little hydraulic uh, pump. Throw some gas in there, fire it up, and uh, yeah, the uh, levers here, forward, reverse, stop. And all this does here, it just spins. You pull your anchor up, pull your net, throw her on top and uh, wrap it around. And it just brings the net up with all the fish. And of course you have your fish box. You just have it sitting on crates there. And it just brings the fish in, brings the whole net in. Uh, it's actually pretty brilliant and it makes life a hell of a lot easier. Cause before, for the last four years, we didn't have one of these. And you know, you're pulling those nets up by hand, huh? Lots of work. So this sure makes life a hell of a lot more easy. So yeah, this, uh, she's all gassed up and ready to go in the water now. So what me and cousin were thinking, we will uh, most likely put it in the water on Canada Day. We got a few little uh, things we got left to do in here. We got a, we're got we gonna put a uh, Sirius satellite radio in here and a few other things, you know, just small things like some coat hangers and shit for whatever. Uh, we'll fix it up, you know, rig it up for how we want it, how we like it and uh, get out and get some nets. So what I was thinking here, once we start going out of the nets here, I'll, I'll uh, make a video of our, the fish we catch. Like we get some freaking brutes, I tell you, you know, like 30 pound trout, uh, big, big, uh, big freaking link cod, uh, in canoe and freaking lots of white fish and sucker fish and a few other little fish or whatever, huh? But uh, I've seen some pretty damn big fish come up here. Uh, the cool thing about net fishing here in the Great Slave Lake is you never know what the hell you're going to pull up. You know, you could pull, there's some huge fish in this lake, you know. The Great Slave Lake is like 20,000 square kilometers, uh, 2,000 feet deep, you know. It, it's it's a big lake, man, big freshwater lake. So, yeah, I'm, pretty, I'm looking forward to getting out there. So, I'm thinking Friday we'll get the boat launched, take her out, cruise around the river, test it out, make sure the engines are running good, water's all, uh, the engines are pumping water. And uh, yeah, piss around it for a little bit. And then probably, I don't know if we'll set this weekend or not, maybe Monday. We'll see, uh, we'll just see weather-wise and whatnot. And yeah, so yeah, this is uh, this is the office, man. And uh, we'll go out for a rip here in a couple days. we we'll seeing a little bit more of this here in the summertime. And uh, yeah, we'll get some big fish in this, this boat here. It's gonna be good. So uh, yeah, anyways. Should probably get back to work. <laughs> Quentin's sleeping away over there in the hot sun on our fish shock, and I'm sitting here playing on my phone talking to you guys. Okay, guys, I'll talk to you another day.